Aloha, this is Chef Ellard. I'm gonna surf three different Pacific Islands over the course of three days, eating a local meal right before I surf at every one. Today I'm on Hawaii Island, which is my home, and I'm eating this beautiful ahi poke. I'm sitting in front of a very famous Hawaiian heiau, which is a temple, and this is a heiau in which they pray for surf. And it overlooks the bay called Kahalu, which is one of my, it's kind of considered my home surf break. I'm going to surf out here today after I finish this beautiful spicy ahi poke bowl. That siren you hear in the background is an emergency siren in case a tsunami comes through. And I'm hoping there's waves, but I don't quite want a tsunami. Waves are pretty small today at Kahalu, so I'm going to be riding my 10-footer Hulakai board. It's definitely a wave catcher. One of the things I love most about surfing here at Kalu, and actually a lot of places in Hawaii, are the amazing visuals of the reef below and the creatures that occupy it that unfold as you ride the wave. It's like an aquarium and an amusement park ride all rolled into one. And the best part is it's free. Okay, I'm super stoked about that session here at Kalu on the Big Island, Island number one. Come join me for Island number two. Okay, we're headed for surf destination number two on our surf and eat a local meal on three Pacific Islands in three days. There are the bar passengers on the right side. We'll be passing the diving in right now. Harbor, quite a minute for the captain. I had a layover going to Pacific Island number three, and so I'm putting my stuff in a locker. I'm going to go grab myself a surfboard and a surf Pacific Island number two, which is Oahu. Stay tuned. Alright, yesterday I had a 10 footer because it was small on the big island. Today I got a 10.6. Okay, I'm hurrying up because uh, it's going to be sunset here on this Pacific island. I'm on the streets of Oahu, uh, Waikiki. Everybody's got their boards ready to go. One thing I really love about Honolulu and Waikiki, which makes it so unique, is that you actually see people with surfboards walking around the city through crosswalks, waiting at lights, either coming from the ocean, sometimes dripping wet, or going to the ocean. It's like this strange, otherworldly version of a daily commute. It's pretty small out there right now, but gotta do it, gotta go after it. Relax her up. I want you a letter. I haven't done much since the farewell tour. You call that a problem. You call that a problem. These populations flower in gardens of love. Pacific Island number two surf session, and I'm ready to go eat, so stay tuned. Okay, island number two, surf session number two done. We're gonna have meal number two here on the island of Oahu. Nothing says Oahu to me like some good ramen, some Japanese food, and so I'm gonna dig into this ramen bowl. I'm totally psyched about it. I'm starving after that session. Stay tuned for island number three tomorrow. Okay, it's about 3 a.m. I am on my way to my third surfing destination and eating destination that is not in Hawaii. I'm getting a nice massage in this massage chair. I'm a little bit behind schedule, so I hope I can get it done. My plane is a bit late. Honolulu is fun today. I'm hella tired. Pacific Island for my little 
west. Uh, just about there. At this point, the astute viewer might be asking themselves why the ticker below says November 4th. I thought you were going to surf three sessions in three days. Well, the answer is I'm going to surf three sessions in three days, but where I'm going to, I lost an entire day. And so it is actually November 3rd in my world, but where I'm going, it's November 4th. That's just a little bit of a interesting little wrinkle about flying to this last Pacific Island where I'm going to have my last surf session. Okay, the quest goes on. I'm on the island, the third island. If you don't know what it is yet, that's fine. You'll find out. And there's a really bumpy road to get to the surf. That's what I'm doing right here. Now at this point I'd like to tell you that I had an amazing meal before my third surf session on the third Pacific Island. But as this picture shows, I didn't have time. I was only able to get this knockoff Snickers bar called Snipers. And as opposed to Snickers, Snipers is not packed with peanuts. But anyway, the show goes on. Okay, the adventure continues. I got some new mates who are ready to come out. Ew. We're going Jesse. to Wilkes Pass. Hopefully That's it, Wilkes Pass. That's it. Oh, Wilkes Pass is it? Wilkes yeah. Pass, yeah. yep. yep. Uh, and if you didn't know already, I'm on Fiji. That's my third island. And uh, yeah, we're going to charge it. And uh, that's going to complete our uh, quest. Hopefully we're going to get some good waves too, right? Let's go, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Ew. <laughs> Another break, and we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get wet. We're gonna get wet. We're gonna get away for our third island. Sessions, three meals in three days. It was looking really sh out there, and then this really nice wave came up. Can't believe I got that. You got that on film, right? <laughs> I don't know if you got it. Oh well. Uh, see you next time on the Culinary Edge TV.